Um, imagine this rope, okay? Pretend this rope just goes on forever, okay? Just imagination. Pretend it goes around the world a few times. It doesn't. It ends at the rock. But uh, let's just imagine this thing goes on forever. Now imagine that this rope is a timeline of your existence. You just exist forever. You see this red part? This would represent your time on earth. You've got a few short years here on earth, and then you've got all of eternity somewhere else. This is, this is your existence. And what blows me away is some of you, all you think about is this red part. It's all you think about. You're consumed with this. You go, oh man, I can't wait till here. You know, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to save, save, save so I can really enjoy this part right here. <laughs> and you're consumed with that. And you're thinking, oh man, am I going to get to travel? Am I going to eat well? Am I going to do this during this part? And I'm like, are you kidding me? What about this? What about this? What about, th what about all this stuff? It's, just, it's crazy to me because the Bible teaches that what I do during this little red part determines how I'm going to exist for millions and millions and millions of years forever. And, and so why would I spend this little red part trying to make myself as comfortable as possible, enjoying myself as much as I can, Paul says, look, I'm going to live my life for this mission. I'm going to spend my life, invest my life for this moment when I cross that finish line. See, I'm going to forget about all the stuff I could enjoy, and I'm not going to look around. I'm going to be like a runner just looking at that moment when I face God because when I face him, then I don't get this chance over again. We get one chance at this life on earth, and it can end at any second for any of us. We've got one chance at this, and then comes eternity. And I'm not going to be fooled. I'm not going to spend my life down here. See, people look at some of my decisions and go, oh, you're so stupid because that's going to really affect this. I go, no, you're stupid because that's going to affect all of this. <laughs> Man, I, I, I'm serious. I, I look. I look at the way people live and I go, wow, that is so crazy. You are so crazy. You're going you're gonna to do that right now. Just enjoy right now. Not even knowing if you have tomorrow and you think that's smart and that I'm dumb, it doesn't make any sense. Paul goes, I'm not going to look around at all this stuff. And it's tempting. It's tempting to all of us. That's what I'm saying. Down here, it's crazy because everyone lives that way. Everyone lives for the red part. No one's thinking about the millions of years afterwards. It's, it's, it's this crazy deception that we can't get out of our minds. And Paul goes, I'm not doing that. He goes, I keep my eyes on that. I keep my eyes on that finish line, and I'm going to forget what's behind me. I'm not looking around. I'm just going to, I'm straining. He goes, I'm straining forward. I'm like stretching forward for that mark. I'm going to pass this thing. I'm going to live this out, and I'm going to face him. I'm going to come before the judges, and he's going to hand me that trophy. He goes, I'm going to get it. And I haven't gotten there yet. He goes, but you better believe I'm using every muscle, exerting every bit about me, because I'm going to pass that line well. Well, 